Last lesson, we looked at how to turn LEDs on and off in our very own sequence. Lesson two, what sub? Is our subroutine helpful to programmer flow? How does it save Cody space? Will a subroutine share our common tasks? What sub? Lesson two. We'll just adjust the title. And we'll explain what a subroutine is. There are three components to a subroutine. There's a sub call tool, a sub start tool, and a sub end tool. Any subroutine must have at least these three components, but you can have numerous sub call tools. Now we're going to put something in our subroutine because a subroutine, its main purpose is to share something. And you'll see that we have a common task here, a delay. And each of these delays of 0.5 seconds can be used as one that's shared at each of these three points. And I'll explain why we might do that. Putting in a delay might seem like, well, it's gonna do the same thing anyway, why not leave it? Uh, we'll just link that up at the moment and we'll delete this one. On the code tab, you'll see that it's generated the code and each of our delay tools goes for about 13 instructions. And it doesn't just take time, we want it to take time, but what we're doing is we're losing a fair chunk of code for each of our delays. There's three delays, and you'll see uh, there's a couple of outputs in there, but three delays takes up most of our space, 17 to 60. So that's taking up roughly 40 lines of code. Now, you'll see if we've got 61 down there, let's compare it to using a subroutine. So instead of having three delays, we're going to use one of those only. So we'll copy that and we'll delete the other three we can place a sub tool and we're going to double click it, select a new background, uncheck use default background and we're going to make it look like a delay. Click OK. So now we have our sub call tool and we're going to copy and paste that wherever we had a delay. Now, a sub-call tool only takes up one instruction. Whereas before, we were taking up about 13 instructions of code space for each of our delays. If we leave that as it is, and now we'll link up the subroutine, click Assembly Code tab, and you'll see we're only using 38 lines of code. And instead of having big delay routines in between our output tools, we now have a single instruction. And this is a call subtool instruction. Here it is again, call subtool. And one more time, call subtool. So we have this flow happening and each time a sub call tool is used, it shares all of the code that is in the subroutine. And that makes it easier to update those delays. If we wanted to program, now we could see it's going to do the exact same thing. Nothing's really changed. Same order, same thing happening. But if we want to make it go a bit faster, say 0.2 of a second, we only have to change one delay that delay is shared in all three places where the sub call tool is used. And you'll see by changing one delay, we can actually update the whole timing. And it means you can actually have a larger program in your code space because you're saving memory.
you're sharing your subroutine and the program flow is happening so that it jumps into the subroutine each time that it needs to and that will just continue happening until we turn it off. Make sure you save your work and print it, hand it in for assessment to your teacher. That's lesson two, what's sub? Thanks for watching.